Welcome to the Real Streets of Crime YouTube channel. Today we will be looking at the Perry Gang. Most notorious robbers in London. Shane Perry aka Shortman and his band of robbers called the Perry Gang by the Flying Squad Strick again. It was meant to go like clockwork and net the two men tens of thousands of pounds in cash. But the raid on an HSBC bank just yards from Buckingham Palace ended in farce and brought central London to a standstill. Lookout Michael Clayton was arrested at the door by a suspicious security guard before the raid even started. And minutes later quick-thinking cashiers trapped gunman Shane Perry behind a security screen as armed police descended on the bank in Victoria. Today, as the duo face prison sentences, this bank security picture captures the dramatic moment when Perry realized he was trapped. Desperate to escape, he hurls himself at the screen before throwing a computer at it. The police are already there and he is arrested. Buckingham Palace Road had been cordoned off, causing gridlock in the West End for two hours. When police lifted the security barrier to arrest Perry, he was found trying to escape up the ventilation chute, with more than £30,000 stuffed in his trousers. Perry, 20, from Tulse Hill, and Clayton, 18, of no fixed address, have both admitted robbery and are due to be sentenced at Harrow Crown Court today. The drama started when Perry and Clayton arrived at the bank at noon on 5 December as a secure car van delivered credit cards. Clayton stood by the main door to keep watch, but a secure guard got suspicious and made a citizen's arrest, aided by a number of shoppers. Perry, unaware that the plan had been rumbled, dashed in and told cashiers he had a gun. When they refused to hand over money, he vaulted over the counter. But one cashier managed to close the screen and, with two colors, they barricaded themselves in a side room. As Perry tried to escape through the chute, armed police broke in and arrested him. Despite his claims, Perry was unarmed. Shortman aka Shane Perry was sent to Onley Prison in Rugby North England where he recruited more robbers, barely five foot tall short man had presence anywhere he went with his cronies, he was soon out to strike again. The cocky bank robber Shane Perry and the Perry gang caught after taking snap of stolen pounds 25k a cocky bank robber who was caught when he took a trophy photo of 25,000 pounds in stolen notes, was jailed for 12 years. Shane Perry, 25, and Simon Court, 27 both from Carrington Court, in Kingston Road, New Malden, held up a string of banks across South London and Surrey, netting almost £40,000. Prosecutor Charles Evans said Court went into the banks and Perry waited outside on each occasion. On Friday Kingston Crown Court heard how Perry, a career criminal who had raided many banks, including the Abbey National and Tooting in 2000, and Court first struck at the HSBC in New Malden High Street on March 30 last year. Terrified cashier Sarah Kempson handed over a bag containing £3,000 to court. Then on April 12 he strolled into NatWest in Norwood Road, West Norwood, brandished his gun and demanded cash. But the clerk ran off and locked herself away, leaving court empty-handed. Frustrated at his failure, he raided another NatWest in London Road, Mitcham. And left £5,800 richer. Brimming with confidence, Court headed to Purley, in Croydon, and ran into the Halifax and Purley parade, where he waved a gun in the face of Anna Cormack. Terrified she was going to be shot, Ms. Cormack gave him £5,000. The pair struck again on May 2 at the same HSBC in New Malden as they raided in March. Sarah Kempson was again working behind the tills when she looked up to see the terrifying face of Court demanding money at gunpoint. Frightened he would pull the trigger this time around, she scoured the branch for money and gave court £26,000. Back at their flat, the smug pair piled bundles of 20s and 50s on the floor, and Perry took three photographs of their haul on his mobile phone. Court then headed to buy back a gold chain he had pawned in Streatham. The robbers were eventually arrested in Clapham. Detectives found the photos of the loot on Perry's phone and also analyzed the crook's phone calls to link them to the raids. Court owned up to the robberies, while Perry denied them, but was eventually convicted of the raids. Mr. Evans told the court that many of the cashiers have either moved branches or left banking since the raids. Ms. Kempson now suffers from panic attacks, her colleague Lisa Stepney, 36, had a stroke shortly afterwards, which she put down to the stress of the raids. Jailing Perry for 12 years and court for 8 years, Judge Susan Matthews, QC, said. The cashiers were put in very great fear for their lives, and no doubt this fear was intense. Perry, you relished that money by taking photographs of it. You were cocky but careful with the risks you took and put yourself at a distance. Court admitted five charges of conspiracy to rob and one attempted robbery with the possession of an imitation firearm. Perry was convicted of the same charges. Three banks in one day. Prolific robber Shane Perry. A.K.A. Shortman and the Perry Gang. The robbers terrorized South London during 12-month crime spree. Female staff were pistol-whipped by violent thieves during a £15,000 post office robbery. 
the gang of violent armed robbers have been found guilty of raiding 10 banks and post offices during a £120,000, £151,000, €141,000 crime spree lasting a year. The six men terrorized staff and customers across South London during the raids between June 2014 and May 2015. In total, the gang targeted eight high street banks owned by Barclays, HSBC, NatWest, and Lloyd's TSB, as well as two post offices. Detectives said they would strike at opening time when they knew staff would be vulnerable. So prolific were the robbers that police said the 2014 Christmas period saw them target three banks in just one day. The men were convicted for a string of offenses at the Old Bailey on Wednesday, 25 January. They will be sentenced at the same court on 10 February. Five of the gang had already been convicted of a £15,000 robbery of a post office in Croydon High Street, South London, in May 2015, during which two female staff members were pistol whipped. BC Adam Barsby, of the Met Police's Flying Squad, said. The gang targeted post offices and banks at opening time when they knew staff would be vulnerable to attack. They used violence and a firearm to terrorize staff and customers who didn't put up any resistance. They showed no emotion, compassion or forethought for the victims in these crimes and acted purely out of greed. Barry Katabarwa, 29, of HMP Belmarsh, was convicted of nine counts of conspiracy to rob, one count of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, and one count of money laundering. Shane Perry, 34, of HMP Belmarsh, was convicted of five counts of conspiracy to rob, one count of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, and one count of money laundering. Rhys Perry, 24, of HMP Belmarsh, was convicted of three counts of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. Wayne Ramsey, 35, of HMP Thameside, was convicted of six counts of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. Herbert Kalsumu, 36, of HMP Belmarsh, was convicted of one count of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. Luke Conta, 25, of HMP Brixton, had already been convicted and sentenced for his part in a robbery on 26 February 2015 at Lloyds Bank in West O'Hill. He pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering at the beginning of this trial and awaits a date for sentencing. Rhys and Shane Perry, Kosumu, Katabarwa and Ramsey had already been convicted in December 2015 of the armed robbery at Croydon High Street Post Office on 26 May 2015. The venues the gang conspired to rob were 1. Post Office, Lower Addiscombe Road, Croydon on 26 June 2014. 2. Lloyds Bank, Croxted Road on 11 July 2014. 3. Barclays Bank, West O'Hill on 23 December 2014. 4. HSBC Bank, London Road, Mitcham on 23 December 2014. 5. Barclays Bank, Coombe Lane, Rains Park on 23 December 2014. 6. HSBC Bank, London Road, Mitcham on 12 February 2015. 7. Lloyds Bank, West O'Hill on 26 February 2015. 8. HSBC Bank, Yule Road, Surbiton on 25 March 2015. 9. Post Office, Lower Addiscombe Road, Croydon on 8 April 2015. 10. NatWest Bank, High Road, Streatham on 1 May 2015. The Perry gang will be under close surveillance when they are freed, police have the power to monitor these prolific career criminals 24 hours a day, it would be easier just to throw away the key and lock them up for life, it costs the taxpayer too much money each year. The Perry gang live a lifestyle of fast cars, fast women, expensive clothes and bring violence and carnage wherever they go. They showed no emotion, compassion or forethought for the victims in these crimes and acted purely out of greed. They used violence and a firearm to terrorize staff and customers who didn't put up any resistance. These convictions serve as a reminder to the public and to criminals that the Metropolitan Police is committed to protecting the public and work tirelessly to identify, apprehend and prosecute those who prey on hard-working and law-abiding citizens. The gang of five armed robbers has been jailed for more than 60 years for holding up a Crichton post office. On May 26 the men stormed the post office in High Street at opening time, stopping customers leaving, while two leapt over the counter and stuffed wads of British and foreign cash into a rucksack. December 1. Armed robbers who pistol-whipped two women during May Croydon post office robbery are convicted at the Old Bailey. One of the men, Gary Katabarwa, pistol-whipped two female members of staff around the head during the robbery. Armed officers managed to catch the robbers as they tried to flee with the cash, although not without an unmarked police car hitting a market stall in nearby Surrey Street, causing minor injuries to a man in his 60s. Flying squad and firearms officers immediately arrested Katabarwa as he tried to leave the post office. 
Another robber, Shane Perry, dropped the cash-stuffed rucksack on the street and tried to run off, but was caught along with Dwayne Ramsey after a short chase. The gang's driver, Reese Perry, was arrested next to his Ford Puma in nearby Scarbrook Road as he waited for his accomplices to return. The fifth member of the gang, Herbert Kilsumu, was picked up two hours later hiding in his BMW on Scarbrook Road. Both post office staff members were taken to hospital with non-life-threatening head injuries. During the operation to apprehend the gang, no shots were fired by police or suspects. At the Old Bailey yesterday, the gang of five were given combined sentences of more than 60 years. At Abarwa, 27, of Kingston Square, Salters Hill, Lameth was jailed for 22 years after previously being found guilty of robbery firearm possession, malicious wounding, actual bodily harm, and illegal possession of ammunition. Perry, 23, of Friars Mews, West Norwood was jailed for 15 years after pleading guilty to firearms offenses, conspiracy to commit robbery, and Shane Perry, 33, of Powlett House, Tulse Hill, and Wayne Ramsey, 34, of no fixed address, were both jailed for life to serve a minimum of eight and a half years after being found guilty of firearms offenses and conspiracy to commit robbery. Herbert Kulsumu, 35, of no fixed address, was jailed for seven years after pleading guilty to robbery. Detective Constable Adam Barsby said. This criminal gang terrorized staff and customers, brandishing a loaded firearm and pistol whipping cashiers. The recovery of two loaded guns and ammunition, coupled with these significant sentences, means London streets are a safer place today. The robberies all took place in South London, including Croydon, Crystal Palace and Mitcham, between June 2014 and May 2015. The six men were sentenced at the Old Bailey on Friday, February 10, with three of the gang being handed life terms. Gary Katabarwa, 29 of HMP Belmersh was convicted of nine counts of conspiracy to rob, one count of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, and one count of money laundering. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and ordered to serve a minimum of 10 years. Shane Perry, 34 of HMP Belmersh was convicted of five counts of conspiracy to rob, one count of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, and one count of money laundering. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and ordered to serve a minimum of nine years. Reese Perry, 24 of HMP Belmersh was convicted of three counts of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. He was sentenced to 12 years' as imprisonment. Herbert Kulsumu, 36 of HMP Belmersh was convicted of one count of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. He was sentenced to four years' as imprisonment. They were all found guilty following a trial at the Old Bailey. Luke Conta, 25 of HMP Brixton pleaded guilty at an earlier hearing to one count of conspiracy to rob and one count of money laundering. He was sentenced to 40 months imprisonment. Detective Constable Adam Barsby of the Mets Flying Squad said. The gang targeted post offices and banks at opening time when they knew staff would be vulnerable to attack. They used violence and a firearm to terrorize staff and customers who didn't put up any resistance. Please like share and subscribe to my channel for more hard-hitting stories from the real streets of crime. Thank you.